So now that you've learned non-lethal weapons and OC spray techniques, it's time to prove that you know it so well that you can even do it after being OC sprayed on the OC course. So you're gonna wake up and like any other day, go to class, except today we're going back outside to the field and you're gonna see the different stations set up. It's time to do the OC course. So the class leadership, the class leader, the yeoman, and the MA of the class are gonna be the ones to go first and eventually it's gonna just go alphabetical order all the way down to your name and it's gonna be your turn. So with the last name of Beck, it didn't take very long for it to be my turn and I already told myself whatever happens, happens. Like I know what to do on the course in terms of each station, but I don't know how bad the OC spray is gonna feel. So I walked up to where I was supposed to and I faced away from the instructor and they told me to turn around and they sprayed me in the face and I was just like, <laughs> like it didn't hurt or anything, but there was just like something about it that your body just rejects immediately. The best way I can describe being OC sprayed is like imagine being sunburnt really, really badly from forehead to chin, ear to ear, just this tingling TV static sunburn and just a burning face. And then imagine like opening an oven, you know, like when you check on a pizza or something and the heat comes over your face like this when you open the door, imagine that constantly over your face. It'll make you extremely sensitive to light, especially like sunlight, but even the lights in your room, like the one I'm looking at here, it would be too much. When you come back, all the lights in your room are off because your eyes cannot handle it. Like as soon as you open your eyes, it's hard to describe how painful it is. And honestly, I screamed. I was like, oh my God. But I started limping almost to the first station. And meanwhile, my nose was just letting loose. I had strings hanging down like this and it got onto the first person. I couldn't even see him because you can only open your eyes like once every two seconds for a little while like this. So I can barely even see where I'm going at first and my strings got onto the first person that was there. It was really disgusting and I wanted to apologize later and they were like, he doesn't want to see you. I was like, I want to give him some money or something because I'm so sorry. So anyways, you finish off the OC course by getting to the red man who's like the final boss battle of the OC course and defeat him. And then you get to the water station where you wash out your eyes, you know, try to stay there for about 20 seconds and get the stuff out of your eyes because you don't want those crystals staying in your eyes, you can potentially, in a very, very like one in a million chance, go permanently blind or permanent eye damage because you didn't get the crystals out. Some people said they could feel the crystals in their eyes, like glass was in their eyes from the OC spray, but that's not something I experienced, but I'm gonna leave it in there because other people did tell me that. Whether you can feel them or not, the crystals are in your eyes and you wanna get them out as soon as possible. That's why they give you the water station, but you're not there for very long because other people are coming through the course. So what you can do is just start crying. Force yourself to cry. Think about a sad song or a sad movie or something. Get the crystals out of your eyes because you don't want them to be sitting in there for very long. After that, they take you to go sit down and you're under medical supervision. They hand out a bunch of tissues to people to wipe up their nose, which is still running out like crazy. One of the things that you can bring to the OC course is paper plates to fan your face constantly and it does help relieve the sunburn, tingling, burning sensation that you have on your face. But if you keep doing it, it seems like it never ends. You just have to keep fanning forever. So the deal you have to make with yourself is, I'm gonna stop fanning my face and the burning is gonna get worse, but then it's gonna slowly fade away. For me, it was about a half hour difference between first getting sprayed and it being unbearable and finally getting to the point where I could open my eyes for more than like three seconds at a time. The best advice I can give you for the OC course is just don't get scared or sad when you get sprayed. Get angry because if you're angry, you're going to be more effective. You can strike harder with the baton and stuff that you're doing. It's going to go better. But remember everything you were taught. Get angry and get through it. And once you're done, go home and don't fall asleep. They tell you not to fall asleep. I'm going to mention it here again anyways. Do not go home and fall asleep because your eyes are gonna be crusted over shut and they have to like open them up. Now, some people did fall asleep and say that didn't happen to them, but at least one person before I got there did fall asleep and they had to do something to open his eyes up because they were crusted shut because of the OC. So after everything is all over with, you're finally gonna get the ultimate prize and one of the most important documents you're gonna get in your entire career. And that is, right here, the OC certificate. Do not lose this. Bad things happen if you lose this. 
If you lose this, you have to get sprayed again. You have to suffer through this process again. It's not worth it. Make five, 10, 15 copies of this thing. I used to keep one in my wallet just for, kind of because I thought it was funny. But have many copies of this in different places and keep the original. If you've seen the other video I made, the unspoken rules of the military, one of them was to never give an original document. This is the number one example. Do not ever give anybody the original example you have of this document.